I'm here to show you an example of an interesting isomorphism. It's a little surprising, I think. We're going to show that the reals under addition is isomorphic to the positive reals under multiplication. So that's weird. I, I'm saying that multiplication is like addition. Because 1 is the identity under multiplication. The inverse is 1 over x. But if x is positive, then 1 over x is positive, so we're good. And it's close, because a positive times a positive is a positive. So the latter is a group. So we're going to 1 to 1, not 2. So you might play around if you want to do this, but what you can show is that here's what the map is going to be. I'm going to take phi from the reals under addition to the positive reals under multiplication by phi of x equals 2 to the x. There are other possibilities too, but this is a good one. So on to one, well, suppose that phi of x equals phi of x equals y. I can take the sides and I get x equals y and we're just one to one, one to one function. Two, number. So that's a positive number. What you get? Well, then phi of log two of is equal to 2 to the 2 logs. And then uh, that's just equal to x. It's, on, it's an operation preserve. So again, the inputs are going to be under plus because this is mapping the reals under addition to the positive reals, not including 0, under multiplication in our map is phi of x equals 2 to the x. And so the inputs are going to be added because that's the operation there. The outputs are going to be multiplied because that's what happens. phi of x plus y is 2 to the x plus y. My rule is log, so I can do that, right? Add in the exponents, multiplying in the base. That's phi of x, y. And it preserves functions, and the groups are isomorphic.